Many people have been asking me, I want to do CFE course, but now I'm not sure where I can get employment. Or many people have been saying, should I really pursue CFE? And if I do, will I really get employed? So I am here to answer the question of, will you get employed if you have a CFE course? Or where will you get, where can you drop your CV? Because many people after doing the CFE course, they don't know where, which, which company should they approach. And I have done a research on the list of companies that you can actually drop your CV and be sure to get an employment if you have a CFE course. My name is Emma and welcome to Finstock Biz Talk. This is a channel where we talk about businesses. We give you tips and insights on how to run, start and manage your business. We also give you tips on how to, do, uh, to conduct job interviews or answer questions uh, in a job interview interview also give you about uh, give you tips we also give you tips about courses and if they are the right fit for you or what you really need to know about certain courses and today we're going to be talk about to be talking about cfe who are the employers of cfe so i'm going to list companies uh, that you can drop your CV and get employed and this list is not uh, ex exclusive it's, it doesn't cover all the companies but these are some of the companies that are known to be employing employing people with a CFE uh, certification so one of the companies is the one is national police service two is directorate of criminal investigation then you can drop your office uh, your CV at the office of the director of public prosecutions you can also drop your CV at the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission. Another one is National Intelligence Service. This is a place that you can drop your CV and get employed if you have a CFE course. And then we have a company called Deloitte. We have PwC. We have KPMG. We have Ernest & Young. We have the Ministry of Finance. We have Capital Markets Authority. We have Transparency International. We have CBK, that is Central Bank of, Bank of Kenya. Then we have the Office of the Auditor General. We have Retirement Benefit Authority. Then we have Insurance Regulatory Authority. Then we have Kenyan banks, that is from KBC, K KCB, we have Equity. Uh, we have all, all, the, all the banks in Kenya, if you have a CFE certification, it's a, it's a place that you can get a job because you are dealing with transaction we're dealing with finances so having a cfe course actually our a cfe uh, certification you can land a job can land you a job in any bank in kenya and then another the another place is g4s and then we have finstock university college this is where you can now apply as a tutor after you have done the cfe course you can apply as a tutor at, at finstock university college and you can land yourself a job so those are some of the companies that actually can employ people with CFE. Yeah, we have done a, we had done a video on some of the targeted professionals by the CFE, and uh, you can check out on that video to know if you are if you are one of the targeted professionals who we advise to take CFE. I hope you have learned a thing or two. Uh, if you were if you're interested in doing CFE, you can enroll enroll at Finstock University College. It's an online college that offers that offers short courses, diploma certificates, and degrees. You can visit their website at www.finstockuniversity.com, or you can reach out to a customer care at zero seven zero three three one three seven two two. Or you can send them an email at info at finstockuniversity.com. Make sure at the end of this video you like, you comment, subscribe, share, hit on the notification button so that every time I upload a new video, you can be notified. It's until next time, goodbye.